Anthony Davis says he hasn't touched a basketball or shot a shot in two months. I don't think he thought his one little comment on a on a vlog or whatever he was doing on a YouTube channel was going to go crazy like this, but it did. And it did for multiple reasons. People are concerned. Should you be concerned? Well, we're going to talk about it right after the bumper. What is good, everybody? What's good, good people? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Anthony Davis, Lakers star Anthony Davis, after fresh off, missing the playoffs, missing the play in, being injured the entire season, it felt like the last two seasons, really, only playing in 40 games. He let it be known on a podcast that came out recently that he hasn't shot a shot, a basketball shot, you know, the thing that he does for a living, since April 5th. He actually knew the exact date. April 5th was the last time he shot a ball. And it set the internet on fire. A lot of people weren't messing with it. And, and it begs the question, you know, should you be concerned if you're a Lakers fan? Should, should you be concerned if you're LeBron James? Should you be concerned about AD? Not shooting a basketball in two months. <laughs> should you be concerned that he hasn't shot a basketball? The, quite, the answer is hell yes, you should be concerned. Anthony Davis, this further proves what people are, honestly it just proves further proves something people already know. Anthony Davis, just like Ben Simmons, just like Kyrie Irving. But more so Ben Simmons. You know, they hoop. But but if they don't play basketball, it's cool. Like, you know what I mean? They're not obsessed with the game of basketball. And Kyrie Irving, too. They're not obsessed with the game of basketball. LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, some of the best players in the world, they're obsessed with basketball. And not only are they just obsessed with basketball, they're obsessed with winning. Anthony Davis ain't that dude. I mean, this is something you should have already known, though. Like, you shouldn't be that surprised that he hasn't shot a basketball in two months. Because if Anthony Davis was obsessed with winning and obsessed with basketball, he wouldn't have came in after the bubble looking the way he did. He wouldn't be injured all the time. He would take better care of his body. Now, he went on, I think, to explain that he has been taking care of his body, and that doesn't include basketball work. And then J.J. Redick even went on TV uh, debating Stephen A. Smith saying, like, yo, this isn't a big deal. But it is a big deal because Anthony Davis is playing with LeBron James. And LeBron James is in year going into year, what, 19, not year nine. LeBron James is 37 years old, not 27. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, the time is now. And Anthony Davis never plays anyway. He's always hurt. And then you just, you're coming off your worst shooting season ever as far as three-point shooting. You shot 18%. Your free throw percentage is going down. So therefore, something ain't right, either mentally or physically. And a lot of times for him, it's physically. So the fact that you haven't shot a basketball for two months is concerning if you're a fan of the team, like myself. Is concerning if you if you're a player on the team. Is should be concerning if you're LeBron James. But but honestly, this is probably something he already knew. Hell, we seen LeBron on IG Live in the backyard with the Bentley in well in the front yard side or whatever with the Bentley in the camera frame shooting jump shots with his sons with the Bentley. Knowing and the ball ended up hitting the Bentley. <laughs> But Anthony Davis ain't shot a ball in two months. And it's not like, you know, J.J. went on and said, yo, basketball, 82 games is a grueling season, and sometimes you need a break from the game. And absolutely, I, I completely agree with you on that. But A.D. didn't play this season. <laughs> he played in 40 games. And then 82 games, see, he missed half the damn season. The season is 82 games. 
The man played in 40. He didn't play last year. Once again, a season, even altered. I think it was still 82 games. He played in 36. The year before, it was a 72-game season. He played in 62. But then the year before that, he played in 56. He don't play. He didn't play this year. He didn't play. He hasn't played the last two years. So his season isn't grueling in a basketball sense. Now, recovery, that's different. Re or, you know, recovering off an injury, that's horrible. That's very grueling. But that's not basketball. That's not working on the jump shot when you just had a career low 18% from three. When your free throw percentage is going down, it's going the wrong direction. So, yes, do I think he should be shooting basketballs in the offseason? Absolutely. freaking lutely even in June. Even in June. But this, this is what's happening. This is AD, though. This is this is this is a trend. He's not obsessed with the game. He's not obsessed with winning. I remember doing a video, and I was so excited after the Lakers won a championship, obviously because I'm a fan. But I thought, like how Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald went on I Am Athlete podcast, and he was like, yo, I was, you know, I was good with retiring after eight years. But then I won a championship. I won a Super Bowl, and I wanted that feeling again. I wanted it. Now, the business got to be right, and that's why he just got paid the biggest salary ever for a non-quarterback. He said the business got to be right, but I want to come back. I want to win another one. I want to get there and have the confetti flying again. I want to hold the trophy again in another parade. He was, he's obsessed with winning. He wanted to feel that. And so I said that, told that story to say this, when Anthony Davis won a championship and we were calling him one of the best players in the NBA, if not top three, top five, and he won his first championship, an all-time great. We were calling him an all-time great. The thing about all-time greats is they win their championships in bunches because when they win that first one, they want to do it again. Shaq and Kobe, three-peat. Jordan, six titles in eight years. Steph, on a current dynasty. LeBron had repeated and then went and won one in Cleveland and won in L.A. Larry Bird, three titles in the 80s. Magic Johnson, five titles in the 80s. You get know what I'm saying? Like the all, We're talking about the upper echelon, the, the greatest of greats. Isaiah Thomas, back-to-back. -back. The greats. When they win one in the NBA, throughout the history of the NBA, the all-time greats, because folks were saying Anthony Davis was an all-time great at one point. They win their titles in bunches because they want, they, they got, they're obsessed with the winning. I, I just told you Aaron Donald, it's football, but it's, and it's different. But his story, like, yo, I, I wanted it again. I was good with retiring, but then I won that Super Bowl. And so I made a video shortly after the Lakers won a title, and I said NBA, all-time greats, win their titles in bunches. And I thought Anthony Davis was an all-time great. But then he came in the next year out of shape. And then he came in that next year and only played 36 games. And then he came in that next year and, and he didn't look like the same player. And I was like, yo, what? He's not an all-time great. He's not. I... And then he came in this year and got even worse. Shot worse from the, from the three-point line. Shot worse from the free-throw line. He's not an all-time great. And now he's saying he hadn't shot a basketball after only playing 40 games this year. He only played 40 games out of the possible 82. And even more for that for the Lakers because they missed the play-in. So let's, but let's just give it 82. Out of 82 games, he only played in 40. It's not an all-time great. And he just further pushed that point home for people who thought who like myself who think he should have shot a basketball in the last two months. But he's just further letting us know something we should have already learned a long time ago. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below on Anthony Davis. Is him not shooting a basketball? Am I, am I making too big of a deal out of it? Or are you just as concerned as me? Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Get that thumbs up button and follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JLighty7. That is on Instagram and Twitter at JLighty7. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.